This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Somnasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Ooh. Okay, I'll come back to that. Oh, no can friends. That's disappointing. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. Eight states. What do you mean unrealistic? As opposed to what? The rest of the game? Oh god. Wait a minute. If I keep doing this, am I going to get smaller and smaller? I think I am. Hold on. I just put this back. Hey, it's boogie time. Let me in. I want to party. What do you mean closed? Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I don't know what that means. Am I doing this the wrong way or something? <laughs> Oh, fine. I am going as a midget, though. Might take a while. Okay. I didn't really think this through when I started doing it. Oh, right. I may be a lot smaller than I realized. Um... Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I'm almost there. Only another three miles to go. 
I gotta be able to get up on that. Um, I might not be able to, actually. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, nope, I'm just phasing through it. That that works, too. Surely the paradox is already complete. No, I have to go right through. Okay. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Ooh, this is taking a while. Any day. Oh, no, they stole my house. That means I can't. Oh, it's never going to change it back anyway. All right, just keep going. Yeah, this is fine. This is how the game is meant to be played. I wonder if being really small at this part is going to cause issues. No. Ah, back to normal size. Not an exit. I think it may have broken my brain. Just a little bit. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Okay. Yes, camp friend. Just you and me, buddy. Into the void. No, not up into the floor. Oh. See, this is why you need to have inanimate objects as friends. They always bring color to every situation. Even when you've broken your brain.
Or alternatively, you can get a cat. That works too. Hmm. Am I missing something? Yeah. Sneaky game. Hiding things in shadows again. Sneaky. Wonder what happens if I keep going this way. to the marble. Huh. Okay. You have a seat there. Am I legit going to get use out of a bloody can that I brought on a whim? <laughs> oh, I but love in it. In white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Long live the can. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, that's okay. Thought I just threw it into the void there. Damn it, I've lost Can. 
Ah, so noise. All right, game. You owe me one can, and a set of real stairs. Um, what the? Okay, sure. Can't believe I couldn't carry it to the end. I demand a replay. At least we get some color back, though. Ooh, choices. Or just the illusion of choices. Which I suppose is another commentary on life. You know, on one level, this game is incredibly depressing. And not just for the loss of Khan. Okay, this is just repeating on me, isn't it? Red. Khan would have known what to do in this situation. I'm lost without Khan. Right, I'm gonna do this one more, and then I am going the other way. What would Can have done? It had just gotten really big and let me climb out of that hole. That's what Can would have done. Wait a minute. This is the same damn thing, it's just reflections. Ah. Uh, right. Game, you are a monster. There's much I can do with that. Oh, oh for goodness sake. Ah, screw you, game. <laughs> screw you. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, fine. That was clever. I'll let it have that one. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I came here for a nice, chill, relaxing puzzle game. I wasn't expecting this mind-bending shit. Jesus. Ah, I knew it. I knew we were hiding something back here.
Oh. God damn it. Ah, I see. I think. Maybe not. Starting to wish it brought a chess piece with me. Or can. Can would have fixed this, no problem. Wait. Why is this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> cheese! That's what I need. Give cheese. Oh, I just can't walk through with the... Right, okay. I don't like this. Oh no, Th this makes me feel very uncomfortable. And I can't quite put my finger on why. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, this is actually, you know, this, this room's good. I like this room. This is fine. I could, I could live here. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Ugh. My eyeballs. Jesus. Oh, not that damn alarm clock again. Wait, what time is that? Oh, it's a reasonable time. Does that mean I'm alive again? Does that mean I'm cured? Am I am I no longer crippled by depression and anxiety? <laughs> I can wake up at 8 a.m. Oh, that would be the dream. Oh my god. Oh, I see this. This right here. This is the dream. 
waking up at 8am without kids trying to drive you insane at 6 o'clock in the morning. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I don't like this. He's t he's making too much sense. It's it's a little too close to home. <laughs> hey, bouncy castle though. Oh. First, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real. No, so the real world sucks. Really Don't make me go back. But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. was a good game. I enjoyed that. Wonder what all I missed. Where is Steam achievements? Oh my god, I missed so many achievements. Empty all the fire extinguishers. I missed a fire extinguisher. No way. And I've missed fire alarms. I can't believe it. I I refuse to believe it. Although it also says I haven't beat the game, so... Maybe the achievement hasn't loaded yet. Beat the game in under 30 minutes. Didn't do that. <laughs> Vaguely activated achievement. Congratulations on doing something. Okay. That, that's not helpful. Oh, there's the achievement for finishing the game. Developer commentary workshop challenge mode. Okay, I might come back to that. Anyway, um, this has been Super Liminal. It's an incredibly fun game, and I highly recommend it. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.